Hey everyone, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Uh, in tonight's video, I just want to show you um, a couple tips and tricks on how to easily press in bearings. Um, I'm working on this OX 06 KX 250F, um, and we're installing new cases because there was a, a, a part that failed or a boss that cracked. Um, and basically, we need to pop in all the bearings. Uh, now, an arbor press or a hydraulic press would be ideal. Um, I don't have one in my garage, nor do I want one. It takes up a lot of room. And um, so basically what I do is I heat up the aluminum and I freeze or chill the steel. So if this is going into this bore here, making this cold will shrink it and heating the aluminum will expand it. And in many cases they just drop right in or take a very light hit with a hammer and they pop right in. Um, so that, that definitely um, works to our, uh, our on our side there. Now um, sometimes I don't freeze the bearings. Uh, the reason being is when they get cold and you bring them back into room temperature and if it's humid out all the uh, uh, humidity or the air, the water in the air will condense on there, and you don't want water on your new bearings. Uh, plus, it's it's mainly the aluminum part that you want to change the temperature on, and that's it, it has a greater uh, thermal uh, coefficient of expansion or whatever it's called. Um, so <laughs> that's what I like to do. Um, definitely going to want some gloves for handling the hot part. Um, I have an IR thermometer, so I can. Uh, you know, check to see what temperature the um, the metal gets to. Right now, it's at 50 degrees. It's it's 50 in my garage right now, and I got the heat that just kicked on. Um, now, there's a couple ways to get this heated up. You can use a blowtorch, or uh, you know, spot treating it, or a hot plate. I wish I had a hot plate. I don't. Or you can go in your kitchen and use your oven. My wife is watching TV right now. She's not going to like me sticking this in the oven right now because there's solvent on here, oil. It's just going to stink. It's going to smoke. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. It's uh, <laughs> kind of unconventional, but uh, hey, it works. So let's, uh, let me show you what I do. All right, so just a couple hours ago, I was grilling drumsticks for family. And now I'm going to use it to uh, cook some cases here. Good old trusty Weber grill. Alright, so I got some aluminum foil here. So um, you know, I don't get any contaminants on the grill or um, burnt stuff on the, on the cases. So I'm just going to close this and just leave it on medium and just leave it in there for 10 to 20 minutes and uh, you know it'll get warm alright so to help pound in the bearings I borrow this uh, bearing and race installer kit from AutoZone it's uh, 27119 is the part number and basically you can flip these uh, little adapters here uh, this way or that way depending on um, you know the size of the bearing. For in, for example, this one here is just about the right size for the OD of the crank bearing. And you know you just want to line up the ODs together. So you can just flip these guys around to to match what bearing you're you're pounding on. So they write these for free, and uh, that'll help um, install the bearings. Also, what I do is I like to put a thin film of motor oil around the bearing, and that just helps it glide into the hot case. So I'm going to go check on my case and uh, bring it in and see, see what temperature it's at. All right, so here's the case straight out of the Weber grill, and I'm hovering at about 150 degrees on, on the case. So let's see, let's see what happens. And I put a thin film of oil around the, the bearing here, so you can see it just dropped right in. 
So that's that's definitely desirable. Make sure you get them nice and square. And you can see they're just all sliding in real nice. That one's going to take a little persuading. Alright, so we have our nice hot case. Drop the bearing in, have it nice and square. And it almost just drops right in. So now when I flip this thing over, it'll probably just... Uh, probably fall out, so you're going to have to let it cool. So this one didn't go in squarely, I just gotta give it a light tap, it'll probably go right in. Alright, so that's it for this side. Kind of knew that was going to happen. All right, so we'll let this case rest. This one's all done. All right, the crazy thing is this is a little nozzle that squirts oil onto the piston or on the cylinder wall and on the piston and everything. This little jet here was completely missing on the old cases. Um, basically it just reduces the orifice so it increases the pressure and it kind of squirts further. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I wonder how how long this motor was going to last without this. It probably wasn't squirting very far and I don't know if it got the proper lubrication. So I'm going to put a drop of Loctite on there and just put it in.
And you're probably wondering how to get these blind bearings out of here. Um, so that bearing was in there. Um, obviously, there's no way to pull it out. Actually, there is. There's a special tool that comes in here and it expands and grabs the back end and you can pull it out with a slide hammer. Um, this is the old case, by the way, so don't worry about that. Um, but you can use heat. Um, once this <coughs> um, case has been heated up, and let's say it was laying down in the grill like I showed you, um, sometimes the bearings just fall right out. They just drop right out. Um, and that's what happened with this uh, water pump bearing. Um, if it doesn't come out right away and it's still stuck in there, come over here on your workbench and just grab it with your gloves and slam it down a couple times and I guarantee you'll come out. If you're having trouble, just try elevating the temperature a little bit. Um, I got all these bearings out without special tools. Um, and worst case, if you don't get them out, you can order new bearings. I mean, what are they, 10 bucks a pop or whatever. Um, the tools, uh, you know, much more expensive. So um, that's just a quick tip. Just slam it down and that bearing will come right out. So you can see this bearing just wants to walk out. Look at that. See that? So that's a blind bearing. You can see that you need a special tool to get in there and, and uh, take it out with a slide hammer. But uh, you know, if you just use a little bit of heat, that'll just jump right out.